Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Till the last episode, we learned some of the data filtering operators like take, take last, filter, distinct, skip, and much more. Please do take a look at that. Today we are learn we are to from today onwards we'll start learning about some of the mathematical operators. So when I say mathematical operators, these are especially useful when your data set is numerical. Say you want to, if you have some uh, data which is numbers, right? Uh, say tax, salary, age, phone number, not phone number, um, something which has number or numerical values and you want to extract the maximum value out of it, right? Especially helpful when you're doing some kind of um, enterprise applications which require some kind of calculations. So max is one of the operators we'll learn today, which no points for guessing, will return us the maximum value from that particular data set. Let's get started. This is part 21, operator number 16 of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. We are already in episode number 20. I'll do more than I think 40 plus or 50 plus tutorials so that I can help you learn RxJS and master with me. Please do subscribe to my channel and ask your doubts in the comment section. So following is the playlist uh, for RxJS. Make sure that you go through all the operators in order to learn and master entirely. I'm starting with simple operators and then we'll eventually make use of all the operators to do some complex use cases. Today we are in operator number 16, uh, max. So what does the max operator do? Max operator will take in an observable with all the values and return an observable with the maximum value, right? So this is simplest thing, um, if you can think of it like, um, like in the example I've given here, let's say ranks, right? A student ranks and you want a certain rank which is maximum or a value which is maximum with that. So you can easily get it through max operator. So let's do some hands on and show you. This is fairly simple, um, should be relatively easier than what you would mostly see. So I'm going to create a quick array, uh, some random values. You can have any values and these values you would usually get it from um, say uh, HTTP call or whatever, right? But for now we are making it that data available via from um, operator. So I'm going to define this will be an observable of type number and we will want it from this dot ranks. So what this will give is an observable which will be these values basically and let's subscribe and do our mathematical operations on it. Since it's numbered uh, data it's much easy to do that so I'm again going to use this here in the subscribe of the form search form and I'm going to say this dot rank dot now here I'm going to say dot pipe and I'm going to show you first without the pipe and then I will start adding the operators so we are going to do console log data and this is our data <coughs> all right so when I enter value it will give me all the values in the array right it has given me all the values now let's add a couple of operators to this and do some use cases so now I'm going to add pipe and I'm going to say distinct, right? We know what distinct does. It will only give the unique values. Let's add some values so that we, so we have these values, you see, two, two, uh, let's add 23, let's add also 45, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm added some, I've added some values so that it's has some duplicate values. So distinct will give the distinct values. Now I'm going to say, uh, I have to write a filter. I'm saying filter all the values which are filter if the value is less than 10, let's say. So I'm going to say filter values and I'm going to pass this. So let's define this method and okay. So here I'm going to say if and again every time you feel like writing a if else, consider writing 
itinerary uh, op operator conditional operator so I'm saying if V is greater than if V is less than 10 return false right return false in my case here or then return true okay so it will filter all the values less than 10 that's yet another use case of using multiple uh, operators together so now I have added distinct get all the distinct values first then filter values which are less than 10 and then finally give me the maximum value out of that right so see this is how you actually go about writing uh, multiple operators together and it's very very interesting and important because in real time you will never write one operator at least in the enterprise applications that I have seen we at least minimum it would take is two to three so that all your logical operations are done right here in the pipe so yeah so here we are first get the distinct values then filter values which are less than 10 then get the maximum value that's what this particular subscription will return so let's test it out so when I say 1 it is giving me the maximum value is 76 and there is a uh, 6 I think it's coming from the below uh, this thing that we did category count so ignore that and just to make sure that you guys see it correct I'm going to add it here and say maximum value is all right and let it reload and now you see maximum value is 76 okay just to test let's increase that value and add 87 somewhere and we should now see the maximum value returned as 87 all right so that's quick right um, max operator for you so what does it do it will return the maximum value from that particular data set observable values that are there so in this case what we have done is we have clubbed a couple of operators together we have done distinct then we added a filter and then we did max if we don't add max right so what should we see we should see the filtered values so that it should not have anything less than 10 so if you see all the values are greater than 10 right however our data set has uh, values which are like 1 2 etc right so I hope this is clear uh, one of the first mathematical uh, arithmetic um, operator which is max in the next episode we are going to learn about minimum I'm not going to tell you what it does you already know it and I'm sure you can implement it with me I can already see that you are building confidence if you are feeling confident in using these operators please do like this video drop um, a comment so that I get encouraged and I feel motivated Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode. We will learn about operator number 17, which is minimum. If you like my work, please do subscribe to my channel and please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you.